What is up guys, Frantic here, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Today we're going to be taking a deeper look into the K-Bar Assault Rifle, exactly what kind of class I'd like to use with it, and you know, the attachments, the perks, stuff like that, and exactly how I like to use it as a gun. So overall, I feel like the K-Bar is honestly one of the top guns in the game. As a gun that you pretty much start out with, that alongside the NV4 Assault Rifle, it is one of the best guns in the game since you do get it at such an early level in that it's just an overall well well balanced weapon having an amazing fire rate, a decent damage, really good range being an assault rifle and having that advantage and just all around I find myself doing really well with this weapon and having that kind of assault rifle that has a really good fire rate and really good accuracy remind, kind of reminds me of the ACR in Modern Warfare 2 I'm not saying that the K-Bar is exactly like the ACR from that game, but I do think this is a pretty accurate representation and, you know, correlation between the two, and just the accuracy on this gun is just far superior than any other assault rifle that I have found in this game. And that's what I like most about the K-Bar. I mean, just like the NV4 reminding me of the M4 and all across the board in the Modern Warfare series, this gun reminds me of my other favorite gun from Modern Warfare 2 being the ACR. And having a gun like that again is just really awesome because, although it's not exactly like it, like I said, it's not pinpoint, but in all honesty, I feel like this is the closest thing to something like that in Infinite Warfare. And another thing I really like about this weapon is that the hip fire spread is absolutely phenomenal on this gun. I mean, for an assault rifle, it's so tight and so accurate that even at close range when you're facing submachine guns, you're going to have a good chance when it comes down to hip firing. I mean, it's just so accurate, and out of the assault rifles, it's honestly the best. Now back into the class guide, for the attachments on this weapon, in this video you'll be seeing me use with the silencer and the long barrel, just like I'm doing with the MV4 for the most part. And in all honesty guys, I feel like this is one of the best combinations for attachments in the game, you know. Staying, staying hidden on a radar is so important in a fast paced Call of Duty. And in all honesty, that long barrel really defeats the whole entire decrease of range when it comes to having that silencer. And, you know, having that same range that you would have without having a silencer is really fucking great. And just like the NV4 video, I'm going to throw an optic sight on this every single time. Not because I because I dislike the iron sights, don't get me wrong, the iron sights are actually not that bad. But having that advantage of better accuracy because you have a red dot sight, having a clear field of view will put you at such a bigger advantage over your enemy. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that I do love taking every advantage that I can and giving me the upper hand when it comes to gunfights. Now as a person who's not a big fan of special or regular grenades in this game, I'm going to be tricking out my gun with as many attachments as I can while still having the three perks. Now, I don't just have that an optic sight or the long barrel and silencer, I'm also always going to rock the quick draw grip as well as the foregrip, because, you know, such fast pacedness in this game and any other Call of Duty of late really, having a quick draw grip is pretty much standard on every single weapon that I've used throughout these last couple games. I mean, the quick draw grip is just such an amazing attachment and it's really hard not to put on a weapon and aiming down faster is so crucial and being able to get that first shot off is really fucking important when it comes to, you know, beating another person at range or even close range for that matter. And if you guys think five attachments is too much and you want that extra space for frag grenades or anything like that or extra perks even, you know, taking the silencer and the long barrel off for attachments on this gun is not going to be the end of the world. I still think this gun will be an amazing gun overall, even without those two attachments and rocking just three. In the perk one slot, I'm always going to run dexterity on, assault, on my assault rifles because being able to reload faster in a fast paced game puts you at such a great advantage and, you know, the other perk ones to me don't really seem that phenomenal. Like, Ghost is good, but, you know, Overclock is just, I don't think is the best kind of perk for people to be using. And to me, Dexterity is just the all-around best perk one to use in this game. In that perk 2 slot, Hardline is going to be in there for me as of right now, but when the time comes, I really think that Scavenger will be, in the end, the best perk for this gun. In all honesty, with the fast fire rate and accuracy of this gun, if you go on a kill streak, you're bound to run out of ammo of some sort. And being able to pick up ammo throughout the whole entire game with just killing people is going to put you at such a better place in this game and not having to pick up weapons 
in my opinion, is the best thing possible because picking up weapons for me is the worst thing to ever have to happen when you're on a kill streak. Now, perk three is where I have the most trouble determining which perk I want to use. In my opinion, I feel like there's only two to three good perks in this tier. One of them being gung ho. You know, being able to shoot while sprinting and pretty much do anything while sprinting is automatically going to put you in a, such a great advantage. With this gun's increased accuracy from the hip, I mean, being able to sprint and shoot at the same time is going to be such a great asset to you. Also, Marksman I feel like is a really good perk, even though in the description it says that it's mainly for sniper rifles and other guns get a minor buff, I really think that Marksman is a great, great perk 3 in this game, regardless of what any gun you're using. Being able to spot from a long range is such a great tool to you. As for a secondary, I prefer the Oni, but in all honesty, if you're even going to use a secondary, the Oni is pretty much the only way to go, at least for me. Being a full auto pistol and everything is just really going to be awesome for you in the battlefield. And that concludes this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash that like button. It really means a lot to me. Every time I see that counter go up, you know, seeing likes is awesome. Make sure to leave comments in the comment section below if you guys found this video helpful. Also, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Each and every day I see more and more people subscribing to this channel and it's absolutely awesome. Follow the link in the description to follow me on Twitter for more daily updates on when I post videos. My name is Frantic and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!